Ed here with the Digital Digest, and today I wanted to share a quick unboxing and first look at the Orico Portable SSD. Now, this is a one terabyte NVMe drive. The manufacturer reached out to me, asked if I'd be interested in testing out uh, one of their drives, and I said, sure, send it over. So at roughly $160, US this is not a Thunderbolt-capable uh, drive, so hopefully the speeds they're advertising here on the packaging uh, roughly 940 megs a second. If it lives up to that over USB 3.1 Gen 2, that's going to be pretty damn good. Three-year warranty, and you can get this in a half terabyte as well. They also have multiple uh, colors, I believe black, of course the silver, silver that you see here, as well as red and blue. But I think the red and blue only uh, are at a half terabyte. So only the black and silver have one terabyte capacities. Uh, $160 seems relatively fair. Of course, anyone who follows my channel knows that I have a lot of external NVMe storage. A lot of that is Sabrent. Some of it is Samsung. Uh, so it's going to be interesting to see. I also, of course, have SanDisk. I mean, I've, I've got a lot of external uh, NVMe drives. So let's go ahead and pop this thing out. And again, it's, it's always good to see another player in the game. I have never heard of Orico. Uh, so when they reached out, I was pleasantly surprised to see someone else making uh, NVMe drives. And while their pricing isn't necessarily, uh, I would say it's competitive, it's not going to smoke the competition, because uh, this really reminds me a lot of the Sabrent uh, Rocket Nano, which the size is very similar. And I really do love the form factor on these things, because, I mean, look at how small that is. I mean, this is really, if it does perform as well as it you know, claims on the packaging, it is a go everywhere, fit in your pocket solution. Now, I don't know how hot it's going to get. That's something we're gonna find out uh, as I test it, but it is an aluminum enclosure. As far as opening this thing, uh, I'm sure it's possible, but I don't plan to. I imagine you'd have to do something with this little uh, edge that is right there, which looks like it's for a lanyard. Let's see what else they include. We've got a uh, Type-C to Type-C cable. And then we've got a type C to type A. So fairly basic, straightforward, and that's it. A um, little bit of paperwork here about the, uh, well, the company's website and you know some QR codes, the usual stuff. A uh, little bit of paperwork regarding, I was gonna say instructions. Let's see what they give you here. Uh, just describing what's in the box, basically. And a quick start guide. So I'm gonna test this thing out and, you know, Again, it's just good to see more competition in uh, the external NVMe field. And as far as you know, the size of it, this is it's pretty impressive that it is this small um, and feels solid. Not something I would worry about in terms of construction. So I'm excited to test it out. And hopefully, again, the speeds that Orico is claiming are accurate. And just to give you a uh, scale, I have a Sabrent, you know, four terabyte, uh, drive here and you clearly see there's a big difference and that's why I said this really is best uh, compared to one of Sabrent's nano drives because those are really the smallest form factor when it comes to high-speed NVMe external storage so again excited to try out this Orico see how it performs and of course let all of you know whether or not it's something you should be considering if you're looking for an incredibly small type C hopefully incredibly fast NVMe external drive. Any questions or comments, please feel free to post them. Hit that like button. And as usual, please feel free to subscribe and please stay safe. Later.